welcome to Pumpkin's Nail Station. Today um, I'm doing a Glitter Girls collaboration. Um, this month it is a fall slash Thanksgiving. It's open to the girls to do what they like. Because not everybody celebrates Thanksgiving um, because they're not from that country or they just don't celebrate it. Um, and yeah, and some were already doing one, so we decided to leave it as you can either do fall or Thanksgiving. I'm going to do a mixture of both, I think, hopefully. I'm not sure. I've got some plates and we're going to go from there. Um, but I'm going to use these gels um, that I got from Amazon from Beatles. I'm going to do a swatch and unbox on this separately, but I'm just going to quickly show you um, an example of what's in this box. It's $21.99 and you get all of this inside it the box is beautiful um, on the front it says the nine toxic three of the nine toxin toxins that go in gels it's not harmful to skin it's low on smell and they are vegan and vegetarian friendly so that's a bonus so inside this you get the the top coat the base coat and the matte top coat and you get 20 gels it's called the perfect 20 collection they are five mil bottles and this is just an example of one of the colors in it so i'm just going to pick out a few colors that i want to use in this design and we'll use the base and top and matte in it and then i'll do a full swatch on this um, in a separate video but for the price point i think if you're looking to get into something that's good and you want something that's cruelty free and vegan friendly and free of toxins then beetle seems to be a good brand to try out i do like the small bottles because actually you know what i get really bored of a color quite easily so having these small bottles makes it easier to store and you can get a lot more colors on them poly stands so that's the bonus of it <laughs> okay um so i'm going to pick out some colors that i want and then i'm going to come back Okay, I'm back. So I've picked this yellow and first off what I want to say is I love um, the colours on the top because if you keep them on your polish stands it's really easy to identify what sort of colour it is. Um, so I've picked this yellow. The orange. So we've gone for that. A red. And a brown is what I've gone for so they're the colours that I've gone for um, so we'll use those and we'll use both of the top coats we'll give the base coat a go as well so first off I want to say is check out all the other um, girls in the collaboration the playlist is in the description box as always um, just want to say these polishes don't smell we just got a regular gel smell but it's nothing harsh or heavy and it's applying really nice it's a nice consistency as well um, and it's leveled well so yeah like it so i'm just going to apply the base coat to all of the nails and come back um, and we'll go for it i'm just going to do some more stamping because i'm enjoying stamping at the moment i've got a couple of i may lee plates here um, this is a Born Pretty plate, um, another Born Pretty plate and a couple of Beauty Big Bang plates. So they're just sort of the fally images that I've got. Because I've got nothing Thanksgiving, I don't have any turkeys or anything. But I thought using those colours would tie into both. Okay, so I'm going to come back in a minute. Okay, right. So the first thing we're going to do is paint the nails. And I'm just going to paint them different colours, I think. So we're going to try this. Three, two, one. First, just make sure I'm focused. Okay, so we're going to use this three, two, one first, and I'm just going to zoom in. Oh, that is nice. Probably slightly too bright for this, but I wanted to try this as a set. And it's going on nice. Like the polish just spreads nice and it's not running. I think like there's some leaves stamped on this in some reds. 
and yellows and browns it will bring it to life more okay right, so that's one coat guys look at that that is one coat That's one coat of the brown. Seriously pigmented. Seriously, guys. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a second coat on everything and come back when we're ready to stamp. Basically. Okay, so for this, you will need a lint roller or something to clean the plates and then something like this with acetone on to wipe it off. And we've got these two polishes by Beauty Big Bang because they are my favourites. <laughs> uh, yes. I'm not the most organised of stampers either. So I'm just getting some gold polish on there. All I'd use this for is removing what I don't want, all of it, because whatever's on the stamper will go onto the image if there is like negative space for it to stick to, and it can make it look messy, so we don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to decide which way I want it to go, so I think I'm going to start it here. Bring it down. Okay, so I've got that. <clears throat> so basically, I'm just stamping straight onto the gel polish, not put a top coat or anything down because um, I want to see if it's sticky enough. So now I'm going to go over that in some red. So that's picked up. So I'm going to do a few images at slow speed and then a few images at full speed. Okay, um, just speed it up slightly. So how you layer on an image is you line it up with the image that's on the top and slightly come up to the side. So you have to line it up as much as possible, otherwise it looks a mess. Okay, so I'm happy with that. It's just, just trial and error with stamping. I will do this at some point today. If not, I'm just going to use a different plate because it's not like deeply etched.
think I'm going to leave that like that for now and then I'm going to add some of the other leaves from another plate that I'm going to use. So I'm moving that on. So brush these little. Okay, right. So what we're going to use on this middle one. I think we might go for some of that but in gold. Like corn kind of vibe and then we'll put brown and then gold on top I think Okay, right, so we're back. So we're going to top it off with the Beatles top coat. I know I didn't use any glitter in this design, but I wanted to do something a bit different. Um, so yeah, sorry about that, guys. I didn't fancy using glitter today. Or I didn't think, if I'm honest with you. But I thought we'd go for a bit of stamping instead. So that's the glossy top coat, it's gone on lovely, lovely jubbly. So we're going to do the alternate glossy in that. And it's not smudging the, stamp, the, top, the stamping polish either, which is good. See this matte top coat here? It doesn't need wiping. It feels really smooth. That is a really nice matte top coat. Okay, everything's cured in 30 seconds as well, including the matte top coat. So this is it. This is my full Thanksgiving design. I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> um, I'm sorry it's been long, um, but I've tried to do something different. So what do you all think to my stamping? You can be honest. If you don't think this is very fall or Thanksgiving, I have no idea about Thanksgiving, so I know they have turkey and food and stuff like that, but I didn't have anything like that, so this was the best I could do, something for Thanksgiving. So I hope it's given you some ideas. You probably wouldn't wear this as a full design. If you would, great. But I think there's too much on here, but it gives you some ideas, I think, for some nice accent nails or something that you could do to put your own design together. So that's it. So thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to check out the playlist. The link for this set will be in the description box because, honestly... I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm so happy that I've got it. I think for £21 with free shipping. They do USA as well. And I've got a USA link to put in the description box. Um, I believe it's just the same price but converted into dollars. That's how they do it. Um, so yeah, for £21 you get these free. The top base and matte top coat. Um, they do lots of other sets as well for like 30, for 11 99 12 99 and 13 .99. Their Christmas sets are out of this world. Gorgeous. 
gorgeous 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 i honestly i'm excited to be um working with this brand because or just to be getting the products because honestly they're so worth it they're so worth it and being cruelty free and vegan friendly is very important to me because i'm a vegetarian um and i'm against anything like that so i try my best all the time if i see products like that i go for them generally um but sometimes obviously yeah, i know you know like can't be helped um or you're not sure but if a company states it i'm all for trying it um so yeah so that's it so don't forget to check out the other girls designs um but yeah thumbs up thumbs up feels i love it that's it i'm going i'm going i'm going i'm gonna shut up i'm off thanks for watching everybody bye